Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Calibri, the offline app for universal education. We're going to get this installed on an Ubuntu 18.04 server and take a look at what this offers. Let's get started. Okay, so the website for Calibri, if you want more information, is learningequality.org slash Calibri, K-O-L-I-B-R-I. And they say it makes high-quality education technology available in low-resource communities such as rural schools, refugee camps, orphanages, non-formal school systems, and prison systems. I would go so far as to say that this could be useful in community centers, and libraries and other places that may not have the deep pockets that it takes to get new computers and have everybody accessing the internet at the same time. There are many things that this offers. Uh, the Calibri Offline Educational Library. You also get a curriculum tool. Runs on anything. Package for offline use. You've got self-paced learning, and you've got sync and share capabilities. So let's take a look at the technical side. I'm going to jump into their documentation. And for their installation for servers, the requirements are 500 megabytes of RAM with 1 gig recommended, 500 megahertz CPU, 1 gigahertz recommended, and the hard drive space will depend on what you install. If you are installing this for a home or a facility with fewer than 30 computers, you could run a Raspberry Pi or one of the other single board computers that are available and use that as a server. This will run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. As you should know, by now, our channel heavily favors the Linux side of things, but there's nothing stopping you from running it on Windows or Mac OS if you so choose. We'll jump over to our install in progress. Right now, we're going through an install of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And... Once this is complete, since we've covered this in other videos, once this is complete, we will come back and go through the actual Calibri install. I'll see you in just a moment. All right, we are logged into our fresh Ubuntu server install that we're going to use for the Calibri demo. The first thing we need to do according to the Calibri website and their documentation is sudo apt-get install. Let's just paste these in. Okay. sudo apt-get install software properties common and Python software properties. Dash Y at the end. Python software properties has no installation candidate. Well, we'll let that go for the time being. Uh, so, the next line. sudo add apt repository ppa learning equality slash calibri. Enter to continue. The next command, of course, we're going to update. And 
install Calibri. And I'll be back as soon as this finishes. Do you wish to run Calibri on startup? Yes. Calibri system service. And so we can do this. As it started automatically, you can start, stop, restart Calibri with the following command. To do service Calibri, start, stop, or restart. Uh, which user account should own the Calibri server? Well, there's only one account on this server, so yes, that'll be me. All right. We'll clear our screen. And see if we can see Calibri showing up here. Okay, according to the documentation, it is running on port 8080. So we will check that out. We can do 1674 178 port 8080. All right, select the default language. English is good. Facility name, Libre Demo, and this is going to be self-managed. There are other options here, Ad admin managed for schools and other formal learning contexts, and then informal and personal use for parent-child learning, homeschooling, or supplementary individual learning. We're going to go with self-managed. Fill out the form and finish. Welcome to Calibri. Not now, LastPass. Welcome to Calibri. The first thing you should do is import some content from the content tab. Admin account you have created during setup has special permissions to do this. Learn more in the permissions tab later. Okay, go to the content tab. No channels installed. So we import Calibri Studio. And so it's going to load channels. And we want to make only English available. So let's take a look. We've got Khan Academy. Kana, Thoughtful Learning, that might be useful, so let's see what we've got here, mini lessons, student models, writing topics, and learning assignments. Get that. Import. Let's see. Let's do English. Let's go ahead and do Khan Academy. And we'll just select one piece of Khan Academy to import and we'll get the process started. So, one of the reasons that I wanted to install this and do a demo of the install is because, well, two things. First, I'm a member of a business incubator accelerator in Lansing, Michigan called The Fledge. And I could see where this could be very useful for some of the school-aged kids that come into the facility so that they're not eating up a significant chunk of the bandwidth of the internet connection. The other reason I wanted to take a look at this is because I've got school age nieces and I was considering putting this on a Raspberry Pi and setting it up for them as part of their Christmas present this year. We shall see if that comes to fruition, but uh, I think this could be an interesting thing for them to use as well. And that way, if they are without an internet connection for a period of time. 
they still have access to some educational resources that they can utilize. All right. So, resources up to 36 gigs. So, let's say we do economics and finance, arts and humanities, computing, and why not? Let's do math and science. Math has a lot of resources there. Okay, so we are going to do. See, my youngest niece is in fourth grade, so we'll start there. Let's stop there. And we'll start the import for the math modules that I selected. And for the sake of keeping this video on the short side, we will come back in another video and take a second look at Calibri once the content has been imported and take a look at usage and other things on the back end. Before we go, let's take a look and see what we've got in our menu here. So, learn, coach, facility device profile and sign out under what's under device and that's taking us back to our importing content so we will look at this in another video once things are imported and take another look and delve a little bit deeper into Calibri. That brings us to the end of another Practical IT video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications. If you have feedback, please leave it below in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.